stay tuned. It is 18 weeks on T today, and since it's 18 weeks, that means it's my 18th shot. Um, and since I began began taking my shots, um, so far I've had two shots where I've hit nerves. And the first time I took the needle out, changed it, and then re-injected. And at the last time it happened was actually like. 20 minutes ago when I just did my shot this week, um, and instead of pulling out, I just, like, I pulled the needle back a little bit and turned it, a, like, just leaned it a couple degrees and then kept going in, and it seems to be fine, um, because, I mean, nerves aren't very big, it doesn't take much to miss it, and obviously it doesn't take much to hit it either, but in order to correct it, it really doesn't, you don't have to move the needle very much, um, and it's kind of an awkward situation because your leg kind of starts to pulsate as if it has, like, a heartbeat in it. Um, like, the more, the harder you push, the faster it pulses. So, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But <clears throat> don't get freaked out if it happens because it does happen. And it's also happened to my buddy Kyle. And I actually, every time I have something weird happen, I call him right up and ask him if he's ever had it happen to him before. Um, and this is something else that has happened. Since I started injecting, I've had two shots where I've nicked veins. And it doesn't mean that I hit a vein, like I didn't inject into it. But it means that as my needle was going in, it struck like the walls of a vein. So when I pull out, that blood kind of follows the needle out. And then once it like ejects from the surface that blood just keeps flowing out until you block it. And I've had that happen twice, and it bleeds a lot, like, fast. <laughs> and it's not like it's a horrible thing, because it stops bleeding eventually, but um, it, if that ever happens, it, you will probably see bubbles of blood in your needle after you pull out, because it's, like, forcing into the needle as you're pulling the needle out, so it's following that path. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you hit a vein, and just make sure that you always pull back on your plunger, and that's how you're get really going to know if you've hit a vein or not. And I've never hit one, like I've never injected into one when I've pulled back, so I don't know exactly what it looks like when you do pull back on a plunger. I would assume that the needle fills up pretty quick if you hit a vein, and when you're pulling back, it probably like sucks all that blood right out. In that case, you definitely need to just pull the needle out, start fresh, new tea, new needle, new everything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there because they are kind of awkward things to run into, but it's not bad, and it's not like no one else has ever done it. It's nothing that's going to like kill you. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go into, I don't have very many changes. I, don't, I haven't seen very much changes lately. Um, the most things that I can really notice, like, hair-wise, is in all the places where I have hair coming in and it's kind of patchy, like some of the spots that don't have much hair, if I look closely, it's almost as if I just, like, shaved that spot and the hair is starting to grow back. Um, that's what the hair looks like starting to grow, so I know it's coming in. Each of the hairs is probably, like, a millimeter long, if that, like, it's just, it's like, all just stubbly. Um, my sideburns, I actually, instead of shaving off all my peach fuzz, I left sideburns right there and right here, just to see, like, how long it took all the other hair to grow, and, um, there's, like, nothing here, this is all just blonde shit, but I left it anyway just to see the difference, and, um, I noticed on my sideburns, on my right sideburn, I have two legit, like, dark black hairs that come out, they sprout every time I shave within, like, by the end of the day, they're there. Um, on this side, there's not, I think there's like one or two hairs the same way, but the rest of them on this side are actually just growing and darker, but they're still very fine, like the peach fuzz, but they're just darker and more visible. Um, so hopefully that means that my sideburns will be coming in um, more quickly as time goes. Um, I notice that on my sides, I see 
in the light, like if I have a light behind me, um, and on my shoulders, you can see a lot of hair, like just coming off my body that I never used to have before. Like it used to just be like a smooth complexion, and now it's just hair all over the place. And up here too, um, it's all blonde hair except for like the very scattered black hairs that I have on my shoulders and coming in sort of on my back. Um, but my stomach is getting pretty hairy. I'll show you guys that in a little bit when I update my muscles. Um, my voice right now is at the end of its, what I call a cycle of changing. Um, it's, I don't know if anybody else considers their voice, like, psych, going, like, changing through cycles, but what I consider a cycle of my voice changing is when, like, I have a couple handfuls of songs that I sing on a regular basis, and when I start to not be able to sing some of those songs is when I consider my cycle of my voice starting to change again. And then once those songs start coming back, and I'm, like, because throughout this cycle, I am, I always hit one point where I can't sing any of them at all, like, it just doesn't work. And then by the end of my cycle, I slowly but surely can start singing them all again. Um, and these songs, like, they all consist of, like, different tones, pitches, keys, um, styles, both male and female vocalists, and so that's how I know. There's a lot of, sometimes there's some that are harder than others throughout the cycle, but at one point, I can't sing any of them. Um, and the way I wanted to describe, like, voice changing, this is how I picture it, and I mean, it could be wrong, but it, may, it helps me make sense of it, um, is to picture your vocals, or just your voice as a piano, and you have your standard six keys, I think it's E, A, D, G, B, E. And when you're going through your cycle of your voice changing, it's kind of like your regular voice is at E. And as your voice changes, it's going down pitches and keys. So you're going from A, and then maybe like three days later, I mean E, and then three days later you could be at A, and then another couple days you'll be at D, and then maybe like five days later, you'll be at G, and then it just finishes through its cycle, and once you hit E again, you're back to normal, you know what I mean, you're at a level key again, and it's almost like, as your voice is changing, I feel like when I can't sing any of my songs, it's almost like my voice is at like, where you would hit a black key on a piano, and it just is like, it just sounds off all the time, and it just doesn't make sense with any of the other notes that's coming out of your throat, um, I don't know, it's just, that's how I picture it in order to understand it, and it really could be wrong, but it makes sense in my head. <laughs> um, I only have two minutes left, so I wanted to go through a couple measurements, and as I'm going through them, I'll show you guys some of my minimal progress from the gym. I mean, I'm not slacking like I was, but I'm not still not going as much as I should be. Um, I'm getting ready to go right now, actually. So, um... I actually just did some measurements. I remember pre-T, I think I was at like 20, 20. I was at 12 and 3 quarters of my arm when it wasn't flexed. Or no, when it was flexed. And that was my right arm. And my left arm is way different from my right arm. Um, right now, my right arm is at 12 and a half inches not flexed and three, uh, 13 and 3 quarter inches flexed, um, and my left arm is at 12 inches not flexed, and 3 and a quarter flexed. So there are quite a bit of difference, like an inch and a half difference in size, but I don't think it is. No, but it's like a half inch. But this is my sort of progress. The best thing is that like I'm starting to notice like the definition coming in. Um, my forearms, my left forearm is starting to come out a little bit more, and my triceps are starting to show more, and that's what I've been working on a lot at the gym, is that's why my triceps are starting to show a lot more. Um, the only thing is that since my left arm is so much more weak than my right, my shoulder muscles are starting to become uneven, because I'm using my shoulder muscles more to help me on my left side than my right. Um, so it just kind of sucks, but I'm going to run out of time. But, yeah, I hope my information at the beginning of this video helped. And if it did, let me know.
So, peace out. Till next week. Sorry about missing last week. <laughs>